August today and I am currently in Portland, Oregon in the United States. I'm going to be staying here for about two or three weeks. I thought I would make a few vlogs about it, document it, just so that I have some memories of everything I'm doing here. The plan for today is we've already been out on a little walk and soon we're gonna be heading to Goodwill. I think it's even a superstore. It's a bigger Goodwill, basically. It's a thrift store. I think it only exists in America. We might also find it in Canada. Hopefully we'll find some cute stuff there. Yesterday we were in downtown Portland. There was also a thrift shop there. It was called Buffalo Wings, but the prices there were a bit higher than regular thrift stores and I didn't really find anything, but there was so much stuff. Like at first when I got in there, I was like, I don't even know where to look because there's just so much stuff. On the other side of the road, there was a huge bookstore and I bought three books. I think at the end of these holidays, I'll probably make a video of everything I buy. Today, Goodwill, and then we're also going to be going to some waterfalls. I think there's like 11 different waterfalls in a specific place, but we'll see that later. Almost forgot, but if you're new here, my name's Natasha and I make videos about my life and fashion. Usually I say that the other way around, wait. I make videos about fashion and my life. <laughs> goodwill and you want to find a pair of cargo pants or parachute pants i definitely recommend to go to the uniform section to get cargo pants and then for parachute pants then go to the active wear section that's where you'll find parachute pants the easiest compared to european thrift stores goodwill was a lot bigger well it was also because we were at the superstore it was huge and it was nice that it was sectioned off like different places it said pants t-shirts knitwear and stuff like that but because there's so much stuff like it's so overwhelming you don't know where to start looking but once you find your rhythm find some really good pieces it's the next morning we were supposed to go yesterday to the waterfalls but we fell asleep in the afternoon due to jet lag it is kicking our butt but we're going today instead in the morning this is my outfit I have a little baby tee from H&M this bag is also from H&M you can make it longer so that it's like a crossbody and then my cargo pants from Bershka that we were supposed to go to this waterfall that's behind me here but it was on the way to the ones that we were actually planning on going to so this one is in Brideville and soon we're going to some other ones I don't know exactly what they're called but I'll let you know We're at Multnomah Falls, exactly. It's beautiful here, as you can see. Even this side as well.
guess it was back in Goodwill. But this is like a fancier one, which is a bit interesting. I've never been in it. It's way smaller. It's just this. But they have like fancier stuff, more luxury brands. Very nice. <laughs> doing outlets so we're going shopping outlets is basically brands selling their stuff but for less maybe because of overstock i don't know anyways i'll show you everything when we're there and oh this is the outfit of the day very simple because when going shopping you just want to wear comfortable clothes that are easy to change in so just a little black vest from zara these are thrifted but originally from monkey and then this bag, don't know where it's from. And my guest sunglasses, as usual. So we're going to some outlets in Portland. And I think it's a 45 minute drive from here. Hopefully, I want to see if I can maybe get a pair of heels because I'm soon going to my aunt's wedding. Or else I just want to see what there is and I'll probably find something that I want to buy. <laughs> Currently in the express outlet. It's the first shop that we're going to and so far it's quite nice but I haven't found anything. I found one top but I don't think I'm gonna get it. Pretty but not nothing extra like I don't feel like getting it. <laughs> When I went to those outlets, they had loads of different types of stores. There was clothes, furniture, jewelry, like all of that stuff. I was there with my family, obviously. It all got split up because, I don't know, I was looking at something where people weren't interested maybe in that, so we kind of split up. And then at one point, we met up again. My soon-to-be cousin, I guess, she pierced her ears. She was like, look, I just pierced my ears. And I was like, huh? I want to do that and she did her second hole i already had to so i was like i've been wanting to get my third hole done let me do it so i literally went in got it done first i thought mm, i think i'm just gonna do this one just the one side but then it was also the same price to do both and i was like you know what i'll do both sides so i did and it went so fast literally the video i took of her piercing my ears was 23 seconds long, so so fast. She did it very well. Slept with it for two nights now. It doesn't hurt at all, like at all. There's no pain. I can feel a bit of soreness, like let's say you've had some big earrings that are a bit heavy, that kind of soreness, but like, I can sleep on both sides. Amazing, I'm so happy with it. And it's so cute. I got like a little diamond and then around it, it's gold so that it matches my other earrings. When I got it done, she gave me also this like cleaning product to clean it. She said they get to do it like three times a day. So that's what I've been doing. I feel like they're going to be completely healed in like a week or two. There's no pain. There's nothing. So if you've been thinking about doing it, just do it. I'm about to head out to do some hot yoga. I've never done it before. It's going to be a whole new experience. I think it's going to be very sweaty, but definitely think it'll be fun. I've never done anything like it before. I don't know if I'll be able to film inside. If I can, then I will. Just got the heads up that I'm not gonna be bringing my phone because it gets super hot in there. I literally finished hot yoga like 
30 minutes ago my bun is not even like hello but it was so fun i've never had an experience like that before and i think i wouldn't do it like every single week or whatever like some people do but i definitely think if you've been thinking about it do it because it's really fun the poses aren't hard it's just it's the heat that's challenging the activities here literally never stop. We are gonna go now to a water park. We have a reservation from three to seven, and then after we're gonna get pizzas. But as you can see, our days are fully booked. Also, if you wanna see things more like live, go to my Instagram and follow me there, or my TikTok as well. Let's go to this water park. I heard that there's like loads of different pools, there's some slides and everything and we're just gonna have a good time. morning uh we got out of there very late like we went to eat pizzas and stuff so i went to bed directly after but let me tell you about the water parks i think we went more there for like my little brother obviously he loves swimming and water parks and all that stuff it was quite fun honestly like they had loads of different slides like different colors and each slide had like a different vibe to it the yellow slide which was more like a family friendly one and you sat on like a little donut thing blue slide was like completely dark inside you couldn't see anything it was one of the first slides that we actually did so we had no idea what to expect and then we did that and we were like oh my goodness they also had different pools like there was one pool that would every i don't know five or ten minutes make loads of waves there was another pool uh where there was like a little circle part to it and the water would go like take you around and stuff the regular pool then oh there was also like a little hot tub part which i only found like when there was i don't know like 10 minutes left of the pool still being open so i just sat there for like 10 minutes it was so nice it was like a little jacuzzi vibe i thought i would end the video here and i'm gonna continue filming even like today and stuff because we're doing more stuff like i said but i wanted to make these vlogs like not too long if you want longer vlogs like let me know just comment down below i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you in my next one as well once again i'll just keep vlogging my time here in portland if you did enjoy the video please like it and also subscribe so that my videos keep popping up on your page so you can see all of them so you don't miss anything and that's about it see you in my next video bye